Jim Cramer is currently the highest paid CNBC anchor with a net worth north of $100 million. In this video, we will list 10 of the highest paid CNBC anchors, some of which you already know about and others that you may not. We hope this information inspires you to get started on your dream, so please watch until the end. And if you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other educated videos like this. Let's get started. 1. Jim Cramer James Jim Cramer, better known as Jim Cramer, was born on February 10, 1955 in the Philadelphia neighborhood of Winmore, Pennsylvania. Cramer graduated from Harvard College in 1977 with a magna cum laude and went on to get a law degree. He started working in sales and trading at Goldman Sachs in 1984. After three years, Jim launched his own hedge fund. It was the start of a 13-year career on Wall Street during which he earned a 24% compounded return, after all expenses. Jim is a senior columnist and market commentator for TheStreet.com, a daily financial news analysis and information website that he co-founded in 1996. Jim left his hedge fund at the start of 2001 with one of the greatest records in the industry, including a 36% gain in 2000 while many other managers lost tens of billions of dollars for their investors. Jim Cramer published his fourth and fifth books, Jim Cramer's Mad Money, Watch TV, Get Rich, and Jim Cramer's Getting Back to Even, following the huge success of his third book, Real Money, Sane Investing in an Insane World. In 2002, he and Larry Kudlow co-hosted his first CNBC show, Kudlow and Cramer. Jim Cramer is currently the highest paid CNBC anchor with a net worth north of $100 million, thanks to his ongoing programs. 2. Shepard Smith Beginning in 1996, Smith spent 23 years working for Fox News. Smith hosted Fox Report with John Scott, the network's renowned evening newscast, in 1996. In 2002, Smith hosted Fox News Love, Studio B, the network's afternoon hard news show. In 1996, Smith began working for Fox News as a general assignment reporter for the New York office. Later, the network elevated him to senior correspondent. While working for Fox News, Smith covered a variety of breaking news stories, such as the Columbine school shootings, the impeachment trial of President Bill Clinton, the school shootings in Jonesboro, Princess Diana's funeral, and the O.J. Simpson civil trial. Prior to joining the network, Smith worked as a correspondent for Fox News Edge, 1998, in Los Angeles, where he reported on a variety of stories for the affiliate news service, including the Oklahoma City bombing, the TWA Flight 800 crash, and the Montana Freeman standoff. He also served as a news correspondent for the syndicated A Current Affair program on 20th Century Television in 1986. In Panama City, Florida, at WJHG-TV, NBC, Smith started his journalism career. Shepard Smith rose to become one of the top three newscasts in the U.S. On Shepard Smith reporting in 2019, he made the decision to depart Fox News Public. He joined CNBC the next year. As a result, his wealth increased to about $25 million. 3. Becky Quick American TV journalist and newscaster Becky Quick, born Rebecca Quick, is best known for co-anchoring the CNBC financial news program on the money. Becky, who was born in Gary, Indiana, spent a lot of her early years moving about. Her family lived with her as she grew up in Texas and Oklahoma before settling in New Jersey. When she was a youngster, she developed an interest in broadcast journalism and went on to earn a degree in political science from Rutgers University. She demonstrated her abilities as a journalist while in college and served as editor-in-chief of The Daily Targum, the student publication of Rutgers University. She worked for The Wall Street Journal, America's top financial journal, after graduating and assisted with the mid-1990s launch of their internet. She was the foreign news editor for the website. Additionally, she co-moderated the 2015 Republican presidential debate. She has conducted interviews with some of the most important figures in the financial sector since she joined CNBC in 2001, including Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, and Jamie Dimon. Throughout her career, she has also conducted interviews with three U.S. presidents, making her one of the most well-known figures in American journalism. Her fame and $20 million in wealth are both growing. 4. David Faber American financial journalist and market news commentator David H. Faber was born on March 10, 1964. He works for the cable television network CNBC. He presently serves as one of the co-hosts of Squawk on the Street, a morning program on CNBC. 
After working at Institutional Investor for seven years, Faber joined CNBC in 1993. His co-workers at CNBC have called him the brain and he has hosted multiple documentaries on businesses like Walmart and eBay. Faber won a 2005 Peabody Award and an Alfred I. DuPont Columbia University Award for Broadcast Journalism for the Age of Walmart. For House of Cards, he received a portion of the Gerald Lib Award for Television Enterprise Business Journalism in 2010. Faber also presents the network's monthly program Business Nation, which started on January 24, 2007, in addition to Squawk on the Street. The Faber Report, and then The Roof Caved In, and House of Cards, The Origins of the Collapse are the three volumes written by Faber. From August 2 to 6, 2021, Faber hosted Jeopardy! as a special guest. 2012 Celebrity Jeopardy! winner was Faber. In addition to earning him respect, it also enabled him to amass a $16 million fortune. 5. Andrew Russ Sorkin The co-anchor of Squawk Box, CNBC's renowned morning show, is Andrew Russ Sorkin. Sorkin is the editor-at-large of Deal Book, a news website he developed that is distributed by The Times as well as a financial columnist for The New York Times. The 2008 financial crisis was detailed in the best-selling book Too Big to Fail, the inside story of how Wall Street and Washington fought to save the financial system and themselves, written by Sorkin. The book was shortlisted for the 2010 Samuel Johnson Prize and the 2010 Financial Times Business Book of the Year Awards and received the 2010 Gerald Lib Award for Best Business Book. HBO Films adapted the book into a film in 2011. Co-producing the movie, which received 11 Emmy nominations, was Sorkin. Paul Giamma and Damien Lewis star in the Showtime drama series, Billions, which was also co-created by Sorkin. He was included in the Directorship 100, a list of the most important filmmakers in the country. He is a Council on Foreign Relations term member. In 1995, Sorkin started contributing to the New York Times under unusual circumstances because he hadn't finished high school. He received a BS from Cornell University in May 1999. With all of his media appearances, Andrew amassed a $10 million fortune. 6. Carl Quintanilla the hosts of CNBC's Squawk on the Street and Tech Check are Carl Quintanilla. He was a Squawk Alley anchor in the past. Since joining NBC Universal in 1999, Quintanilla has reported on a variety of topics for CNBC and NBC News, serving as a correspondent for Today and NBC Nightly News in New York and Chicago. These topics have included the Olympics, presidential elections, and global military conflicts from Israel to Iraq. He shared a National Emmy Award, a DuPont Award, an RTNDA Edward R. Murrow Award, and Broadcasting's top prize, the Peabody Award for his work on NBC's coverage of Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Quintanilla worked as a reporter for The Wall Street Journal for six years before joining NBC. The University of Colorado awarded him a political science bachelor's degree. Due to his achievements, he now has $9 million in wealth. 7. Rick Santelli in June 1999, Rick Santelli became an on-air editor for CNBC and began live reporting from the floor of the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. His main areas of interest are the Federal Reserve, foreign exchange, and interest rates. Santelli frequently contributes to Squawk on the Street on CNBC. Santelli, a seasoned trader and financial professional, has given live market reports for print media, regional and national radio, and television. He previously worked with Sandwa Futures, LLC's Institutional Financial Futures and Options. He worked as a vice president there, managing hedge funds and institutional trading for a range of futures-related products. Prior to that, Santelli held positions at Rand Financial Services Incorporated as vice president of Institutional Futures and Options, Gelderman Incorporated as managing director of the Derivative Products Group, and Drexel, Burnham Lambert as vice president in charge of interest rate futures and options at the Chicago Board of Trade. At the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, Santelli started his career in 1979 as a trader and order filler in a range of markets, including gold, lumber, CDs, T-bills, foreign currencies, and cattle. He earned a Bachelor of Science from the University of Illinois in Champaign-Urbana. Santelli has held memberships in both the Chicago Board of Trade and the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. He has a $8 million fortune as a result of this and his current position. 8. Scott Wapner the Fast Money Halftime Report is hosted on television by Scott Wapner for CNBC. 
When the world's bite, two billionaires, one company, and an epic Wall Street battle, Wapner's debut book was published in 2018. Wapner formerly worked as a reporter for Associated Press Television News and as a business reporter for KDFW before joining CNBC. Scott recently began hosting Fast Money Halftime Report. He has covered the real-time activity of the international financial markets while reporting live from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange and the Nasdaq market site. When the flash crash occurred in May 2010, Wapner was providing live coverage from the New York Stock Exchange. In addition, Wapner has reported for the network on several documentaries, including Hotel, Behind Closed Doors at Marriott, Ultimate Fighting, From Blood Sport to Big Time, for which he was nominated for an Emmy, and One Nation, Overweight, which examines the effects of the obesity epidemic in the country. For One Nation, Overweight, Wapner was honored in 2011 with a Sigma Delta Chi Award from the Society of Professional Journalists and an award from the Society of American Business Editors and Writers. Wapner is presently worth $6 million. 9. Saar Eisen The Closing Bell on CNBC is hosted by Saar Eisen. She is well known for her extensive knowledge of the financial markets and the global economy as well as for conducting many newsmaking interviews with some of the biggest figures in the finance industry, including Phil Knight, Leon Black, Janet Yellen, and Christine Lagarde, among others. Eisen previously shared the role as co-anchor on CNBC's Squawk on the Street. She has previously served as co-anchor of the CNBC programs, Power Lunch, and Worldwide Exchange, both of which were broadcast from the CNBC Global Headquarters in Englewood Cliffs, New Jersey. In December 2013, she became a correspondent for CNBC, specializing in global consumers. Prior to joining CNBC, Eisen worked for Bloomberg Television as a journalist and co-anchor of Bloomberg Surveillance, where she reported on international macroeconomics, politics, and business. She covered the tsunami aftermath, the European debt crisis, and the Japanese nuclear disaster at Fukushima during that time. Eisen served as the host of the On the Economy show on Bloomberg Radio. In January 2013, McGraw-Hill released her edited book, Currencies After the Crash, The Uncertain Future of the Global Paper-Based Currency System. Eisen graduated from Northwestern University's Medill School of Journalism with a master's degree in broadcast journalism with a focus on business reporting. She acquired a net worth of more than $25 million as a result. 10. Joe Kernan The co-anchor of Squawk Box, CNBC's renowned morning show, is Joe Kernan. It is the longest-running program on the network and takes a quick-witted, satirical look at the world of Wall Street. Kernan is based in Englewood Cliffs, New Jersey, at CNBC's worldwide headquarters. He was CNBC's on-air stock editor prior to his role as an anchor, appearing on the network throughout the business day. Following a 10-year career as a stockbroker, Kernan joined financial news network, FNN, which was merged with CNBC in 1991. He attained the position of vice president at both E.F. Hutton and Smith Barney after receiving training at Merrill Lynch. He oversaw corporate cash accounts, qualified retirement plans, and the personal assets of important personnel, with a focus on small to medium-sized businesses. In addition to a master's degree from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Kernan has a bachelor's degree in molecular, cellular, and developmental biology from the University of Colorado. He worked at the MIT Center for Cancer Research, one of the top organizations in the world, while pursuing his doctorate degree. His research on mouse erythroleukemia cells led to several papers in prestigious academic journals, such as Cell, Developmental Biology, and Cold Spring Harbor Symposia on Quantitative Biology. He has a net worth of more than $16 million as a result. If you found value in this video, we would like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. We would, however, highly appreciate it if you could like this video and share it with your friends on social media. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here so you won't miss another one of our videos. The more you learn, the more you earn.